but Saturday again is time for them tiny races, man. These things are one of the good things about my weeks, and then sometimes this is one of them things where, oh man, it could be a complete disaster. With tiny races, you have to understand that I'm a heavier rider. So being being a heavier rider with these tinier races, the sprints are harder on me sometimes because if there are a lot of uphill climbs, dash climbs, especially if the climbs are at the end, it gives people who are a lot lighter than me. I'm 176 kilos, um, roughly 390 pounds, somewhere in there. So I, I'm gonna weigh myself, start next, uh, I wanna start next week, but I'm going on vacation this week, so my God, everything's gonna be off. But when I come back, I will start weighing myself on these tiny races, and these will be the weigh-ins weekly, so you can follow my weight progress, and hopefully, this is the one thing I wanna lose, that is the way. So hopefully you'll follow me. Let's break going to this race. We got five seconds. We're at four, we're at three, we're at one, and we're off. Now on this race, I actually, I looked it up and saw that it was a hilly race. But I thought that if I can get out in front pretty well, that I would do really good on this race. This was one of the races where I thought, well, okay, cool. Now one thing I did do, that has made a significant change in the races after this. Um, the next, this is Saturday, this is on Saturday. I'm gonna go somewhere right now, I'm on a Wednesday, because I'm gonna go out of town tomorrow, I'm on a cruise. But um, I raced a whole bunch this week just to get some more races in so I can make a video for next Tuesday. There probably won't be one for next Thursday, kind of because I won't be racing up on Saturday because I'm out of town. Um, I'm on a cruise, so there'll be a Tuesday, but it won't be a Thursday, and then I'll get back on my regularly scheduled program. But as you see on this race, one thing I did before I started this race was I started the, uh, I changed my seat. And, and, and I'm gonna try to make it, I'm gonna make that plain when I get back to the next entrance on the next way so I can show you what I did. But I changed my seat. My seat was on kind of like a decline and I leveled it out. And on this race for this day, this one, and I did a 45 mile ride after this at nine. I did these races at five o'clock to end around six. And then at nine o'clock, the Z Suns had a race where we had a ride, a, a 62 mile ride, a 100, 100 uh, kilometer ride. And um, I was gonna do that, I did that. But I changed my seat Saturday morning, just before these races started. And I leveled it out, levelly, and it, and it kind of hurt Saturday because I, I changed it. But what was going on was, I would sit on my seat and I would slide forward and I, you know, I'm putting out a lot of power as y'all see, but in order to put a lot more power, I have to like kind of lift myself up and sit back at the top of my back of my seat, the butt part, the wide part, and I would sit back down and I would put the power in. So what I did was I changed the seat and I set it level. Now on this race, when I leveled it out, it kind of kind of peached, you know, underneath the, the undercarriage got kind of peached doing this. So it was really uncomfortable riding this race, these four races. Plus the 45 mile, I felt a little better, but I was really tender after all of that was done. Then Sunday came and I was still kind of tender. But when Monday came and I had been sitting on that level seat for two days and I had the tenderness because you have to ride so long, you kind of get rid of the tenderness pretty quick, quick. I felt much better and it changed a lot of things about my ride. And you will see those on this, on what's coming up the sleepless uh, night races, you'll see a difference. It's gonna be a major difference. Now, as you see, I'm kind of on the end of this race. I'm not like talking because these are heels. And with heels, no matter what it is, I'm gonna be kind of bad, especially on these sprints. Longer races I can do, but sprints, uh, it's kind of hard because I'm climbing. Now, if you come around on this one, there's a heel at the end. You see 6%, anything over 6% is really hard for me because my weight becomes a detriment to me. I slow it down so you can see what's going on, but it, it, it's no matter what happened, this heel was really, really bad for me. Because it's at the end, as I get better, I don't even think with the seat change, this might change a little bit. I really do believe that. So we come through here, I come to the end. We're gonna get ready to get to the next race once I hit the, the, the finish line moved on me. But on the next race, we're gonna get on to the end of the next race. What happened is, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about with the seat. My seat was like this. It was this the back end. My seat was facing down like that. And I leveled it out. And it made a major, now on here, because I leveled it out like this, it was, it was pinching me. Now, I wasn't used to it. You know, I had it dipped down right there, but from a guy and everybody talk about, hey, the seat can cause you problems, pinch nerves and stuff. 
but it really not was I leveled it out it really not now I will get myself custom fitted for a C I am gonna do that but right now um and it was I leveled it out and it made a major difference I race this Wednesday I've done four the sun the uh, sleepless uh night races changed everything I think about racing the seat just the seat changed everything let's get back to these we got five seconds to go this is the second second race of it and we're off and on this race it was more up so now you can see how i will ride on a more level race now this is level the whole time so uh it has a couple of hills but this this is one of the better races now they had this race as a um it's not as an insider but they had it as a uh, step a stage race this was one of the stage races but it was a lot longer i think i want to say it was like 10 miles or something like that I, this race like six times I won I want to say four of the six and and you can see on here I'm in front this is more when these are more level races I am very dominant I'm, I'm there's, there's no way around it because of my power because of how I can push level races make me very dominant long races with heels not at the end but somewhere in the middle of the race I can become dominant if the other other side of that heel is a flat as long as I don't let the lead guys leave me too much. If you leave me way behind, I'm gonna have a problem. So as we go on this one, you can see I'm front and I'm riding. And even when I'm riding right now, my heart rate is not up as much, but and my pedals are kind of low. Like I said, it was kind of pinching me. So I'm trying to rock and deal with the pinching, but it wasn't. How can I say this? This was a race I'm used to, so it really didn't matter as much. And like I said, this is more of a flat race. It gets up to four or five, but it comes down. If you, as it goes up, it comes right back down. It's almost like long rolling hills. And with these long rolling hills, I am kind of dumb at that because as I can keep my speed going up, by the time I come back down, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm speeding back up. So I never really lose a lot of power. As you can see, I never really lose a lot of power. So as I'm coming around this, I got one guy running with me, but he's way back at like number five, um, JR. I'm gonna call him RJ. I'm gonna call him RJ, it's a rock of R. Johnson, Justin. But um, I'm gonna call him RJ, so I don't mess with the last name. I'm not great at names, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be honest. But he ride, he catches up slowly with me. And you can see, now they passed me, this is a hill, like I told you, but it's in the middle, look at it, it's 2.3 miles in. I know that about this race. I know that hill was there, so it didn't bother me. I knew I had enough time to get back to the front, so I didn't have to pressure myself to gun. You see, I don't even really gun it. I leave it about 400, and I just slowly walk people down. See, that's what the purpose of when the hill is in the middle, it allows me to rest. See, you allow me to rest and catch up. I'm at 18 spot now, halfway through the race. And you would think, at this point, they gonna leave, no. With a flat like it is the rest of the way, and I know what it is, all I gotta do is stay steady, get my speed back up, and then fall back to 400. And that's what I did. I got it up and fall back to 400, and I stayed 24, 25 miles an hour, which I think the front route's normally running about 22. And as you can see, I walk them down. It, it doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't happen at the end of the race, I can walk everybody down on a flat. And that's what happens. Now, as we get closer to the end of this flat, I catch up to Art Johnson now. I don't know who he is. <laughs> this dude can race. I, I'm just being honest with that. And I didn't have none of my usual cast uh, suspects. Of, I didn't have my usual uh, cast of suspects like Tandem. He, you saw him next to him. He wasn't racing. He was watching a friend kids race, a 12 year old. And I didn't have uh, PB, the, 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 the friend of me, him. He wasn't there. Um, uh, Gary Price, I think, moved up. Uh, and I didn't really have anybody else on here. So this one, I mean, when I got to this point, I, I really thought I had it. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I thought I had it. Cause normally when I hit a flat and I'm rolling and it's 20, it's went down to 21, but I'm getting back to the 25, 26 miles an hour. Nobody usually passed me. You see, I'm at 27 miles an hour and I'm, I'm actually getting it up to 30. I think I got it up to 30. And we had 100, uh, 500 feet. I'm doing 30, he passes me like I will stand this thing. He came past me with, I think, 10.7. He was rolling, man. So as we get close to this one, we're gonna get ready to start the next race. And when we get to the next race, this race is a heel. Um, this this is one of them races, like I say, when the heel is at the end, you see what happens when the heel is in the middle. That race gave you an example of that. 
Most of the time when I come around on a turn like that on the flat hill, I'm at 30 miles an hour, I don't usually get past. So to RJ, man, hey, I can't even number, hey, you did it, man. So, and that happens a lot. See, these races, some people, he kept, you know, I get a couple of people always ask me, won't you move up, won't you move up? I do test myself a lot against seats. I get crushed. And I mean not crushed, crushed. Now, I have done the Tiny Insider, and I got crushed on three of the four races. The middle of the second race was a flat. I came in, I want to say, up in the head of incline at the very end. I came, I was number one until we hit that incline, which was only like 500 feet left in the race, and I ended up 17. And the incline went up like a 2%. That's all it took for them seats to just pass me like I was standing. Any incline, my weight is a very big detriment right now. That's why I'm saying I will move up. I will win a lot of races, but when it comes to a lot of races where there are hills, these tiny insiders, let's tell you what, the tiny insider races really do humble me. Because sometimes I can do out of the run, and then I get in these tiny races, and these folks put me in a place. Let's get started. We got four, three, two, one, and we're off again. And on this one, see, I, it, it, it was a hill at the end. So, as you can see, I'm right. Anytime you ride flats, a slight incline, it's the hill. Anything connecting up for us, five, six, seven, eight, even five percent is pretty cool. But when you six, seven, eight, ten percent, it's hard for me to do. See what happens? I'm gonna tell you what it is, and this is what I'm starting to really figure out now. With the seat, a simple seat adjustment is gonna change a lot of this. But let me tell you what happens is on the longer races when we're doing a stage and they got a hill close to the end, the race is usually about. 10, 12, 15 miles long. I'm pushing the pack most of the time. Cause I know I can ride study 400 watts for 20 miles before I start really feeling it. I can ride, I can ride at 400 watts and never think about it. So I can ride 20, 22, 23. I'm getting up there close to 25 miles and I can ride at 400 watts and not worry about my watch. I mean, worry about mine, get tired. So what happens is I push a pack. So if we have a hill at the end of a long 12, 10, 12, 13 mile race, the pack is tired enough that when we hit the hill, they move it as fast as I am. So that makes a big difference. But when we're doing the tiny inside of races, the pack is, I can't push that pack hard enough so that they're tired. I don't have enough distance. So the smaller guys who have endurance, are great at catching up to me and passing me. The longer races are probably for a lot of people because I'm a very big guy, but I have great, great endurance. I can really ride. And like I said, I wrote that after this, I waited three hours and I did the 45 miles. I got time at 45 miles. I think if I hadn't done these races, I would run the 45 miles. I would have did the 61 miles and got my first uh, uh, 100 kilometer in. But hey, Things happen. I like doing these races. Now, like I said, I won't be doing these Saturday, but I will get to them since. Now, as you can see in the race, as long as it's a short race, they can catch up to me and pass me. If it was a long 10 mile, 12 mile race, I would not worry about them passing me. In fact, what I may do, I have an old race in here where I have a hill and I end up being at like number 15 to 20. And I came back, I may replay that race and put that up next for next Thursday it's just to have a race in. It's an older race, but I don't got better at doing the videos, so I, I may put it up. I don't know. It don't have the green screen behind it, so you'll see one of my older videos. But I've done like 80 some videos now, right at 90 videos. So I'm feeling really good about starting to get better at these videos. If anybody wants to YouTube or start doing videos like this, just do it. Just start, and you will get better at them as you go. Um, I love y'all support for what y'all support me on these races for. And like I said, heel at the end, I don't have enough time to tire everyone out. It's, not, it's just not gonna be enough time for me to do that. So I can try, I can try lying with the pack, but with a heel, it doesn't really matter. One like this, they just don't end up catching. We, we go into the heel together, I'm just gonna fall further behind than me being in front and falling behind them. On the race, I ended up on this one at 12, but when I went to Swift inside, I was number eight. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, I don't feel bad. Heels, I just, at that point, plus heels burn me out. I try, sometimes I try to put a power in, but I can't do it. Plus a lot of spring just kind of wears my head. It gives me no time to really 
cool off. The problem is, is me cooling off. And the cool off comes when I'm riding on longer races, I can kind of mediate what I'm doing. I can cool off pretty good. So we get close to the end of this one. As you can see, we're coming up on the end of the line. I, slow, I started slowing them down at like 200 feet a mile, especially with me doing the talking. I run my videos a little longer because I am talking in between the races. So I brought I slowed it down. And just so you can see the end of it, I'm in 12th on here. I think on Swift Inside, I ended up being Swift Power, sorry. Swift Power, I ended up being number eight. Uh, we're going to get to the end of this and we'll start the next one. This is one of my last races. This race was kind of hard. Um, uh, I was tired. I was burned out. Sprinting really burns me out really a lot. Um, Sprinting with the heels, I don't have the power to really power at the end. And a lot of times, you see a lot of my races, especially if I got a little room at the end, I kind of back off a little bit. But this, I was just tired. I'm, I'm not even gonna make up no excuses. I will just, just get into this race. We got four, three, two, one, and we're off. Now, as we take off on this race, this is number four. Um, <laughs> I tried to, I was hoping this race was gonna be a little different than what it was. It's four miles. I'm thinking to myself, man, I can just get out on this thing and ride pretty good, get ahead of everybody. And that's what I was thinking off the line. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> That's what I was thinking off the line. I get out here for, man, we took off, man. I, you can see I'm putting up 200 watts. I was burnt, I was burnt. I, I'm a bigger guy, it takes a lot more for me to cool down. So on these long races you see me run, um, the, the swim night race, the, 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 the night races, the sleepless night races, my goal with those races, if you, once I put them videos up and you will see, there's a totally different plan, but I want to say this again. The seat adjustment made a major difference in this week's races. I did four of them in three days. It has made a humongous difference to me. Uh, I, I don't know how to say it, it made that much of a difference to me. I'm glad I did do it. It, it was a great race. Those were great races. Uh, great competitors with me riding the bike. It was fun. Now this race, as you can see, I'm riding. I don't even think I actually hit the, 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 I think I may have hit it. I don't remember even hitting the, the steamroller. I just, I just didn't have the energy. And so I decided just to ride this ride out. I decided that I was gonna get, I do this a lot of times. I could have quit this ride and just said, okay, cool, y'all, I missed the rider. No, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it all the way through. And that's what I, my purpose is, I'm gonna ride this ride. And I got with a little group and I tried to speak with them, but I was really tired of this thing. And my purpose of doing this is for people who are heavier. Don't give up. You see, I don't give up. I, I keep riding. Now, if you're sick, you're feeling sick while you ride, yes. But if you can just finish it out, go ahead and push yourself through it. Now, I will get better at heels because my focus is going to be working on my hydro now. I'm going to try to do 30 minutes, 30 minutes at a time, three to four times a week. Plus, I'm trying to make sure I really want to hit my two million meters on my hydro. So I'm like, a, uh, I'm like a million one, maybe a million one and a half. Uh, so I still got roughly 850, 900,000 meters to go to hit two million. So my goal is to get two million year, next year. Uh, I really hope that and that's going to be really one of my aims is two million meters next year. Two and a half push. Because I don't think I can hit three. I'd be pushing a little too hard to get three, but two and a half. I don't think I can hit that, but two million meters, that's only 900, probably 900,000 meters, a little less than that, and that's gonna be my goal for that. As we ride this one, you can see, I'm trying to stay into it, but plus another thing was, this was a lot of gravel. I thought it was gonna be just short little spots and spurts of gravel. It's a bit of gravel in this thing. It was saying it, and that's one of the things that slows me down. It doesn't get, even though it's a flat, I can't, especially with it, you see it goes in climbing, it goes flat. I can't really get a good push in that. I you probably need to switch to a mountain bike just to be safe with it, but I can't get a great push on that. So I'm excited about this. I try to push through it. I still hit the stick rolling down. And you see, I pop the speed up, the time goes away. I slow right back down. This is, and then, and then that's stricter with a 1% on sand. It slows me right back down. And right at this point, I'm just riding the race.
I'm really at the point where I'm just trying to finish the race off. And, and that's just truly what it's going on now. But I'm excited that the idea that I do finish the race. Take pride in finishing the race. Sometimes we race people and it just, it's not gonna be that. When I did the um, class, when I can bump up the class C on these tiny races, I don't quit the race. I let everybody see me struggle through that thing. <laughs> I let everybody see me struggle through that thing. But, but the thing is, it gives me a chance to see where I'm sitting at. And that's the whole purpose of that, is to see where I'm at. Can I move up yet? Am I getting close? And that's what I'm trying to do as I do these races. I want to also thank y'all for following me. Thank y'all for the likes. Please, 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 please put the likes in for me. The likes help out a lot. That's why you see me put the thing up a lot with like and subscribe and hit the bell. Please subscribe. If you subscribe, it helps move me up. But the likes are really what gets me out there. Thank y'all for all y'all support. Thank y'all for watching my videos. I'm very humble that people are inspired to watch me. And I'm, I'm inspiring some people. I'm very glad of that. Thank y'all very, very much. Um, we are at the end of this race. You can see it's up to six, seven, eight percent. And I thought maybe I could catch him, but at four percent on sand, I was just trying to get, yeah, it was 400 feet in this thing. And I'm going, I just want to get through the bar to me. I can, I can be honest, I can let this thing spread up. And then this one, it's, it's grueling to watch again. Oh, God, I feel this. But I did. I came to 25th on Swift Insider. I mean, Swift Pop is like number 14. Because a lot of times people are not, these things you'll find a lot of people are not registered up. So that's the thing, or maybe they're in their wrong class and they won't register. Thank y'all for following my race. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching all these races on this series. I'll be back with you in two weeks. Like I tell everybody else on these, Right on.